Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today we are testing all of the Turkish brands, the makeup that I got from Turkey when I visited Istanbul. If you saw my last haul video, the things that I've got from Istanbul, which I think you must, in case you're visiting, which I think you also should, uh, it's going to really help you pick up the right things, okay? I picked up all the best products from all the three brands because I did a full face, full on testing in Floma, in Golden Rose. Pastels don't have their own store. It is something that is so within Watson which is their drugstore so I could not sit there I didn't have anyone applying uh, their makeup one thing I can tell you about the salespeople in Turkey in Istanbul especially in the makeup department be it Sephora be it Flomar or Golden Rose or even in Watson they really need to do something they really need to step up on their customer service they can come across extremely rude all right so let's start off with this testing i have to say that there is a giveaway i'm giving one of my favorite lipstick this is the soft matte from golden rose which got a 10 on 10 you will see all the ratings towards the end go to this timestamp and just comment on my last instagram post and that's about it and i shall contact the winner in two days okay i hope you enjoy this as much as i have been obsessing over this this is a beautiful lipstick so let's get started with the review you guys there's so much that i have in front of me and let's see whether this wins or not so before i get started with the makeup i have already moisturized my face and i put a face uh, sheet mask and the one that i applied was the oil control facial mask which i spoke about in my turkey haul uh, this was for a pound or something i picked up three or four and since it was oil control facial mask uh, you know take control of troubled skin five herbal complex relieves problematic skin well it's a bit of uh, an exaggeration but it does moisturize and i think for the price that you're paying it's pretty decent okay and apparently this sheet mask from cotton uh they're known to make clean and simple products basically you get this at their drugstore called watson's which is everywhere so go and pick up some and i really like this i think this definitely if i go to turkey i will be purchasing this for sure so the first thing i'm starting off with is the floma mattifying makeup primer and you get about 1.2 uh, ounce of it that is 35 ml so one day i went to floma to do a full face one day i went to golden rose to do a full face and pastels don't have their own store so i had to just test it on the back of my hand and that is why i just bought i think just one or two things from there because i couldn't test it out properly so i'm just going to apply this and it has like a milky consistency and what i really noticed is it does mattify the face so if you have oily skin and this is something that you can reach out to the only thing i have a bit of a problem with is the fragrance it has that very arabic scent to it I'm blurring it not as much but you do feel that it is filling up those pores okay so it has a tendency of looking a little smaller than what it was before so all in all a very very good primer so now we shall move on to concealer and one thing i can tell you about concealer and foundation guys their shade range is pathetic it's almost as if they're competing with lacme india on how to be non-inclusive and how to win in that concealers that i tried at floma was pretty decent but it was looking ashy on me something was not feeling right on my skin so i went to golden rose and i picked up their so cute concealer which by the way if you do not want to spend so much but you just want to test it out especially if you're a blogger what i love about golden rose is you get their lipsticks everything in this size i got the shade 03 okay which is their medium shade so i'm just going to add that on my under eye area but it's not full coverage you can see my brown spots it's not a full coverage concealer definitely melted into the skin so yeah i think uh, in comparison to what i tested out on in both the brands it's just personal preference i do like this concealer a lot more than the flamar one so now let's move on to my foundation and i'm in the shade 05 it says shake well before use and they have only about six shades okay a little more than nika so this is their medium shade and as you can see it still looks wow um not at all close to my skin tone can you see that oh boy this should be fun oh my god so once it melts into the skin it doesn't look too bad the shade range but dude there's just uh, <laughs> no coverage 
I know I could have bought the full coverage foundation. I mean, I could have bought the darkest one and somehow mixed it with the other foundation. But you know, to be honest, I didn't want to spend my money on something that I need to take time to make it work. So I thought BB cream because it's summertime and I think I would use light foundations a lot more. Yeah, no, no. So I did try out the foundation out there, which I have to say that the quality of that foundation is pretty good. It's just that my color was not available. So I wish I had that. I'm going to apply a little bit of my Revolution F 10.5. This is the matte base pore blurring full coverage, full coverage uh, foundation. So now we shall go on with a compact powder. I want to set all of this up and I picked up the Flomar Baked Powder in Beige with Gold. Okay, that is my shade. That was the only shade that I felt suited me. Again, I think they've just got around four. But you know what? This quality, I really like. Okay, so this is a wet and dry kind of a compact powder. You can use your wet sponge or you can even use your dry brush. And technically, if you have crystal clear skin, all you need to do is put concealer and just this and you're good to go. You don't need a foundation. So taking my, and it comes with a very nice tiny mirror. I really like it. It's cute, it's travel friendly. And I'm just going to take my wet beauty sponge, the damp one, and I'm just going to press that on my skin. Like I said, when Pooja and I applied this, we were like, hmm, not bad. I really like this compact powder. And instantly you can see it's brightening my skin at the same time. Beautiful compact, man. This quality of this compact is really lovely. It gives a really nice, soft look to it. If you get your proper skin tone, uh, if you can find the right match, I think you're really going to enjoy this compact powder. So moving on to blush right now, and I'm going with another Turkish brand called Pastel. Okay, this is the Pastel Pro Fashion Crush Blush, which you get at Watson. It's 304 probably. And uh, someone had asked me to pick this one up and I really like this. Uh, look at that. It's got that corally red tones to it, something that I don't have. So on one side of my face, I'm just going to apply this blush. Um, and on the other side, I put the cream, cream blush that I got from Golden Rose, which I have tried and I love. Okay. Oh, this is pigmented. Okay. All right. Let's see. Wow, that is pigmented. So let's try the other blush from Golden Rose. This is the lip blush, lip and blush uh, velvet touch, okay? Which everybody loves this apparently. This is also one of their best sellers. You get it in so many shades. There is a beautiful orange one. Ones that were working at Golden Rose said that usually you don't even need an eyeshadow for this. You just need to apply that, dab that on your eyelids and uh, on your cheeks and on your lips. And this is that multi-purpose product. And it is so cute. <laughs> like a nail polish bottle. Look how beautifully pigmented that one is. Okay, and now I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to dab it. Blends like a dream. Oh my God, this is like straight up butter. What I should have done in the beginning is applied a lip balm or a lip primer. But hey, I'm just going to do that right now. I've got the Floma Caring Lip Primer. Look at this. Okay, it looks pretty funny, my lips right now. But she says it kind of fills into your lines of the lips. So if you apply a liquid lipstick, it apparently makes it go smoother. We shall see. So now I'm just going to do my eyebrows and I got the brow tinted mascara. It's got that tiny brush. So it makes it really easy to give your brows that feather strokes. I'm really liking the way this eyebrow is looking. It has filled all the bald spots. And at the same time, it has, if you look closely, can you see? I don't know if you can see that. It is giving me that very feathery look because of how tiny that brush is. Really, really like it. Pretty stoked about this, man. I should have taken a backup of that. All right, so moving on. Now let's put on some highlighter, okay? And I have to show you this highlighter because, oh my God, it is brilliant. This is from Golden Rose Metal Liquid Glow Highlighter. So this is the highlighter and it's got around four shades. There's a pink, there's a white, there's a copper and there's a gold. And I took the gold one. So it comes with a pad foot uh, applicator. And I'm just going to apply that right here. 
Oh my god, that is beautiful. It sure is intense, man. Yikes. I should have gone even more subtle. But with the warmth of your finger, it definitely goes a lot more subtle. Can you see that glow? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I prefer things like this than powder. Now for eyeshadows, I did not find anything that I liked in all three departments. I'll tell you why. The palettes that you get, there are some really beautiful textures, especially I think of all the palettes from Golden Rose or, uh, you know, pastels, Flomar, I think Flomar has the best eyeshadow palettes. But even in those long eyeshadow palettes, there was nothing that stood out for me because I've got too many eyeshadow palettes. And right now, I don't want to waste money just for the sake of doing a review. I like to buy things that I know that I'm really going to use. And the eyeshadow palettes, I can say there was no consistency. So if there were like four of them that had beautiful textures, the other four would have like, it would go really patchy. I am going to take my lip and blush which they said that many times people use this as their eyeshadow as well i'm just going to apply that on my eyelids and i am going to apply my eyeliner they've got some pretty good eyeliners at golden rose more than the flomar one so the one that i really liked were their uh, colored eyeliners and that is the style liner puja and i saw the colors and we saw how pigmented this one was and we were like okay we don't need black anymore because we've got plenty of that and the black wasn't black enough but for me the style liner metallic okay oh these are so good from golden rose you just know when you see the bottle you're like <laughs> it's going to be good and what i love is how soft and tiny that brush applicator is so if you are new to eye makeup game or eyeliner game this is going to be really really easy for you Thank you, Pooja, because I was really going to not pick this one up. I was like, no, I have so many colored eyes. And she was like, just go and pick it up. This is the Flomar um, All Time Eyes Primer Mascara, okay, which is also one of their best seller. It makes your eyelashes look white, but basically it is just priming your eyelashes. It's protecting it when you apply your mascara and it gives a lot more volume. I want to try their high performance rotating mascara, one of the newest launch from Flomar, um, which I'm pretty stoked to try. This is what the mascara looks like. You press the button and it rotates on its own. This does get into your lash line and really makes it pitch black. But because I'm such a fatu, so I've switched this one off and let's see how it is without. Definitely lengthens but i wish it had more volume all right so now let's move on to eye pencils and they have got this from flamar and this is the waterproof eyeliner and this is really nice okay it reminds me of the pack is how creamy this one is and i picked up this smoky gray because i don't have this kind of a gray tone almost bordering to a steel gray with a hint of that blue added to it beautiful gray tone so if you're not someone who likes dark eye pencils, then you can definitely opt for colors like this. And I'm just going to smudge it out. That's really nice. So let me just put my favorite highlighter right here on the inner corner. So another thing that I want you to pick up is the Stylematic Lip Liner from Flomar. Beautiful lip liners. They've got such amazing shades, you guys this one okay it's got that hint of brown and burgundy it's really really lovely it's my favorite time and that is lipstick time and i tried out literally everything from flomar pastels as well as golden rose i'm going to quickly show you whatever colors that i bought and then after that i will show you which one i love the most so let's get started the golden rose matte lip crayon in the shade 21 which is such a lovely nude reminds me so much of jade rose so this is the Golden Rose Long Stay Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is completely transfer proof. Uh, it's not too drying. I just like the way that it sits on the lips. I love this color, something that I don't have. As soon as I applied this liquid lipstick, you would have seen uh, it gives you that really shocking pink, but then it's peach coral tone starts to come out and it's really, really complementing my skin tone. Another new that I picked up, and this is the HD Weightless Matte Lipstick from Flomar in the shade 15, which is so, so pretty. Again, something that complements my skin tone to a fair skin tone. This bullet lipstick gives a very soft, 
balmy tinted balm kind of an effect it's a very soft matte i love this nude color and i think this lipstick also gets a 10 on 10. so the next one is from pastel look at that beautiful mauvey pink color so this is pastel day long lip color what a beautiful shade this one is again extremely comfortable highly pigmented and something that is also going to suit all skin tone Another favorite of mine from Pastel is the day long lip color again in the shade number 38. Such a beautiful warm terracotta uh, with that hint of that rusty orange color in it. Perfect for summers. So this one is Kiss Me More Lip Tattoo, one of the newest launched in Flomar. They're liquid matte in 09 Intense and, and this is such a beautiful warm mauve brown nude. It reminds me so much of Tulle from Colourpop. The last one is the Golden Rose Soft and Matte Creamy Lip Color, which has that soft matte finish. One of my favorite lipsticks from everything that I've tried, you know, within the Turkish brands. I absolutely love this. Not very long lasting, but the most comfortable liquid lipstick I have applied in a very, very long time. This is 114 Brick, a lovely red that will also suit each and every skin tone. This is that perfect nude neutral shade that I've always wanted in my collection and I absolutely love it. This is 103 neutral. And the last one being Sand 118, which is one of my favorite. Again, a terracotta nude that will suit each and every complexion. If there's one nude that you have to pick up from this collection, it has to be 118. I have actually one more and that is from this brand called Cotton. It's an apparel brand. You'll see this all over Dubai and this is definitely all over Istanbul as well. And I did like the matte lip crayon from this, okay? And the shade that I picked up is 007 Cinnamon and it's such a lovely cinnamon, uh, terracotta, orange kind of a lipstick. All right, so check this one out. I wanted to show you two more things and that is the Flomar Jelly Look Nail Polish Color, which wow this is really really nice it's got a very jelly like consistency and it dries down quickly and it does last longer than this one which i got is the floma nutritious nail enamel shade is called latte 01 it's like that pinky white color and it was so patchy there was it just did not dry down properly i didn't like the wear of this definitely did not enjoy this but this i should have picked up more so guys i hope you really found this video helpful and i made it easier for you to pick up the right products in case you're visiting istanbul or you have a flomar and golden rose right next to you don't forget to comment and participate in this mini giveaway and i hope whoever wins this enjoys this lipstick as much as i did and i shall see you very soon in my next until later bye for now